drop, pin and drop. All right. I got to talk about your man, Benzino. Okay. <laughs> I got to ask about your man, Let's Benzino. Let's go. Now, when I saw your interview with him, I could tell you know your hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know your hip hop history. You do your research. So I respect that, right? Mm hmm. What do you think about Benzino and the Eminem situation and how he handled that? Here's my opinion, right? Um, I don't think Benzino is wrong how he handled the Eminem situation. I feel his opinion is like every other rapper's opinion and every like hip hop purist opinion. I feel Eminem is a great rapper. Don't get me wrong, he's a great lyricist. But there's tons of doper lyricists than Eminem. I feel that Big Pun is better than Eminem. I feel Big L is better than Eminem. I feel Eminem was just for mainstream America and for um, middle America, he was the, 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 the hope for them. And I feel that Eminem did help out a lot of rappers. Don't get me wrong, he helped out 50 Cent. You know, he sacrificed his fame and his, his, his celebrity status to, to put on a guy like 50 Cent and blow him up. But I feel that Benzino had a point in what he was saying, that you can't put him on the GOAT level and then try to call him a rap god when there's tons of damn good rappers that are on that level. Like, I feel that when they did the, um, the, um, like the Rolling Stone list, like when they had him like number one or number two, I think on the list, I feel that it was other rappers that could have went higher than him, you know? Well, the problem is, is that nobody has the same criteria for what they consider the GOAT. Yeah. It's subjective, That's right? That's true. Now, I think what the problem is, though, is like Benzino's issue was with the industry and how yeah. the industry and these corporate companies maybe had a different agenda. But yeah, he, they, took, they have... he, he took it out on Eminem when he should have been yeah. saying, nah, it's the company specifically. Because yeah. unless you're trying to say Eminem, now Eminem benefited, don't get me wrong, he benefited it, right? Yeah. But it wasn't him doing it. It was the companies that are no, doing it. No, you're right, right about that. It was it was in a scope that really was pushing Eminem. And I, I do I do say that Universal should take the blunt of the blame because they did push it, you know. But I feel that, like, when it comes to, like, artists, Eminem just had, like, a um, what I think he had over everybody else, that his fans weren't, like, really hip-hop fans. A lot of his fans were, like, fans of rock, fans of pop. So he was able to, like, um, go into a whole different realm, a different um, culture of music. And then have them like hip hop too, because I have friends that I grew up with that basically before Eminem, they wasn't really hip hop fans, you know? Yeah, and that's the thing that I will say, right? If mm -hmm. you don't know your hip hop history, if you don't really know this type of culture like that, mm -hmm. then your opinion shouldn't matter to the level of being like, True. oh, he's the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Because True. it's like you got to know those that came before. You got to know the other rappers to to have an educated opinion. That's it's like right now, right? If I don't know country music, but I'm gonna call mm -hmm. Beyonce the best country singer of all time. That's true. That, that's true. That's offensive to people that love country music, that know that the culture, that have put in work, right? So mm -hmm. it's like you can't just do that. Like all of a sudden, oh, I'm gonna like her because you know what I mean. She's black and and she's in a a, a a white dominated genre. So I'm going to go ahead and be like, yo, she's the best. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's true. So that's where I've, I have a problem with those type of fans. Now, if you really do know your history and everything, and you still think that Eminem's the best, hey, hey it's subjective. It's subjective, right? yeah. But you got to be educated to have your opinion be taken serious. Yeah. And I think that that's the problem. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I just feel, in my opinion, like I feel that Eminem just had a, a good machine behind him. And I think his success came off for the good, the impact of his machine. Because but it's not just the machine, though, because he does have the talent to back it up, though, right? He because does. there's a lot of other white rappers that aren't as talented that may benefit from being white. 
True. Right. And have the machine behind them, but it doesn't mean that they have the, the skills, the rapping ability. No, he has the rapping. No, no, you're right. He has the rapping ability. Like I said, Eminem is a, a damn great lyricist. Um, he has the ability to to move hip hop fans and pop fans, this fans, that fans. He because he has a free he has a battle rap background. He was a battle rapper. You know, so he, that's his background. I think Eminem got dumbed down when he signed to Dr. Dre because if you listen to his underground stuff, like his Infinite album, like right. he sound like he was a baby AZ baby Nas. Not, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and like if you listen to like his stuff with the Outsiders, you would you would see like his stuff with Young Zay and them. Like he sounds like a, a super lyrical rapper, but when he went with Dr. Dre, he, he became commercialized. It became commercial, so right. the so the music like I I kid you not right, Eminem in my opinion got three great albums, and then after that he just to me I just felt like he fell off. First three albums classic. First three albums is classic. The Eminem show, you know, Slim Shady Mathers, LP, Marshall the, Mathers LP, LP, right? yeah, all three of them classics, classics, right? And then like when he went into like the other albums. Like the, I'm talking about, like the the stuff, even the, the the stuff he did with D12, and and the stuff he did with with um uh, um G Unit, like the stuff, the collaboration that he did with Fifty Cent, like a lot of that stuff was like, uh, it wasn't it well, wasn't as my great. thing is is more like. And I, I get shit from stands all the time, even though mm-hmm. I grew up on Eminem. I'm a big Eminem fan, right? Yeah. It's just that you can't say anything bad about Eminem without them getting mad. So like, yeah. that's the problem, right? But it's like. Yeah. For me, I appreciate him stepping up his technical ability in the later yeah. work, but mm-hmm. sonically, it's just not as pleasing to me. Like it's I don't want to feel look, like look, that. Look, Panda, a lot of the stuff that you heard since Eminem sobered up, right? And I'm talking about when he did relapse and right. to, recovery. To recovery. Like if you listen to all of that stuff, it does not sound sonically. As great as Slim Shady LP, Marshall's Matters LP, Eminem Show, it don't. Not and n- not even the uh, what Uncle. you call it, the, the Eight Mile soundtrack. Eight not Mile even soundtrack. The, yeah, it does not sound as great as those projects. But if you know you the, the, the thing that I tell people all the time is the mm-hmm. cadence. The cadence. Because yeah. be, remember before when he would rap. Like, if he was angry, if the song called for it, then he would rap like that, right? Yep. But then he started to rap, like, a certain part where it's, like, he was trying to sound overly aggressive, mm-hmm. and he crammed too many bars in, like, yeah. in too many syllables in one bar, mm-hmm. right? And then he did the whole thing with, uh, 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 yeah. like, he and did don't that. Forget the, 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 don't forget the English flow. Remember the English flow he had on Relapse? When he was trying to sound like, uh, 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 uh um, we're the ones that made you? Listen to the flow the- he had on it. The like, accent? The accent. You remember the English accent flow he had? Like, like that with Eminem, right? Like, we know his flow pattern from, like, the records he did, like, back in the 2000s and the 90s. Like, yo, the dude was spitting. Forget about Dre. Right. All these records. What's the difference between me and you? Like, those records, you'd be like, oh, nah, this dude, is he's spitting. But then when you listen to him now, like, even even um, the No Escapingness remix with Beat Nuts. He had a dope. He had a dope verse on it. You ever heard that? Go play that. No escaping this with the beat nuts. The remix version with Eminem on there is dope. He had a record with Method Man on the Professionals too. Dope yeah. freestyle. Dope freestyle. That's why I said Eminem has some some stuff that's fire. But like as like you said, as no, but got but later, yeah, like you know, in the later years, you can tell that he's gotten more technical. Like. Yeah. Like cannabis, right? Like how it's like, but it's like sometimes I feel like you you focusing so much on making words rhyme that you yeah. lose the message. Cannabis, cannabis disappointed me, Panda. He's one of those guys that when I saw the battle with disaster, I was I know, I know, bro. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> I know. Like I know. when he said the notepad, I was like, come on, bro. Yeah. This is a guy that battled LL Cool J. And you telling me, like, I, I, I had to, I lost all respect for cannabis, bro. Yeah. 